Hello, each and every one of you. This is Auntie Nelly's Christmas message. I feel a little bit like when the Queen does her Christmas message. I don't know when you're actually going to watch this, whether it be before Christmas, Christmas Day, after Christmas. But I am Queen of the Flower Pots, so it's only right that I give you a Christmas message, as you've all been asking me. So, to each and every one of you, I'd like to wish you all a very happy Christmas and a wonderful and safe new year. What does Christmas mean to your Auntie Nelly? Well, I never put a tree up, but I always do my mantle. Um, and do I love Christmas? I don't necessarily wait for Christmas for gifts or to be able to eat special food or spend it with people that I haven't seen for a while. I try and make every day count. Um, when things happen to you in your life, uh, you lose loved ones or you've been through some really, really scary experiences, it sort of changes the person you are. And I really, really live by the motto that tomorrow's not fucking promised to anybody. So if I want to have a double brandy and a full box of after eight, I will. Whether it's Christmas Eve or whether it's 14th of February or 21st of May, doesn't matter to me. A little bit of what you fancy does you good. Um, but yeah, whatever you do this Christmas, please spend it with your nearest and dearest, whether that's your loved ones, your family, your friends, your next door neighbour, but spend a little bit of time with somebody and always have a little thought in your mind about those who haven't got anybody. Um, always have an empty seat at your table because wouldn't it be nice to just have anybody join you, somebody who hasn't got anybody. So if you know of anybody who might be spending Christmas on their own, Open your door, let them in. Share that bit of turkey and a Brussels sprout. Talking of Christmas dinner, my mum, who you've all met and love, our Joanne, I mean, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, I am so fucking blessed to have my mum. I know a lot of you haven't got that privilege and I nearly lost my mum to cancer. I were a chemo buddy um, and believe me, I cherish every single day with her. But if she tells me one more fucking time what we're having for Christmas dinner, I'm going to seriously think about shoving her face through a fucking car windscreen. Whew. That's all I have to say about Christmas dinner. But yeah, so mum's been going on about what we're having for Christmas dinner since 19th of September. Can't wait till it's fucking over and done, mate. Then she'll start talking about New Year's Day dinner. And then when that's done, just start talking about Easter Sunday. For the love of Jesus, Joseph and all the angels in heaven. Thought I'd just throw that in there, you know, seeing as some of you like the nativity. <laughs> but apart from that, yeah, what will I do? Well, Christmas Eve in our houses, I always order a box of rum truffles from Manning's. So we have them out outside, a bit of Bailey's, a lovely Christmas film, Christmas jammers. That's our uh, Christmas Eve. Olivia starts going out now because she's at that age where she'll fall through the front door at six o'clock at morning, Christmas morning. Anyway, Christmas morning, we have a fancy breakfast. Um, everybody in the house will have things like bacon and eggs and, you know, like a full breakfast. I'll have two fucking selection boxes. Because you can, because it's Christmas. At Christmas, you can do what you want, can't you? Christmas day, it doesn't matter if you have a double brown day at five past eight in the morning, because it's Christmas. So, Christmas Day is a free-for-all. We're spending it at Mum's. Our Robbie's coming this year with wife and kids. So, one year he goes to his mother-in-law's, one year he goes to my Mum's. So, we're all at my Mum's this Christmas Day. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, lovely, lovely, lovely. But you must always, like I say, spare a thought to those who have nobody. And, obviously, spare a thought for those who are no longer with us. Um, so I'm going to dedicate my Christmas message, my Christmas video to three of my gorgeous flower pots who passed away this year. Um, the lovely Derek, uh, same name as my dad. Here he is, our Derek there. Uh, I'll be going seeing him Christmas morning um, up at cemetery. So the lovely Derek, God bless you Derek, wherever you may be. Uh, the one and only Kathleen. Um, so God bless you Kathleen and it absolutely pains me to say but 
God bless you, Becca Watson, wherever you are. And wherever you are, you'll be sparkling because, good God, were you the queen of bling, our gorgeous, gorgeous, precious rose gold princess. So this video message is dedicated to three of my flower pots who are no longer with us. But wherever they are, I'm sure those skies are a lot fucking brighter for it. So to each and every one of you who's watching this video, happy Christmas and a very happy new year. Here's to 2018. I think it's going to be our best year yet. Thank you so much for all in your love and support this year. And I promise to keep going and give you lots more laughs throughout the years to come. God bless each and every one of you.